don't always spar with people who are super world champion dudes. Like it's good to spar with them, but then you want to do dudes, you know, close to your level as well. And then people below you and you mix and match. It helps you measure your progress where you, uh, it helps you identify what you need to improve. But if you're always sparring a world champion, you're going to feel like trash all the time. And you're going to think you're not progressing at all, even if you are, because you don't have any contrast. You don't have someone to spar with your level. So you see, oh, wow, I've gotten really good. You know, like, you see, so I had that problem when I was a, a kid or a teen. And all I would spar with would be my coach because it was a small, though I was the only, he was the only guy that I could spar with. And I would constantly have these like anxiety depression bouts after sparring right i'd go home and some most times i'd be like i'm i suck at this i hate this this is terrible i can't do anything right <laughs> and i'd want to quit i'd be so close to wanting to quit thinking i was just some pansy who could never do anything and then there'd be one class where i I'd, I'd catch him with something you know catch him with a spin hook or something and make him wince or give him a bloody nose or something and then I'd be like, yeah, I'm awesome. <laughs> this is so great. And then I get my butt kicked afterwards with the get back. But I I go back home and be like, yeah, at least I got him this time. At least I, you know, it'd be this constant like up and down kind of mentality. But ideally you want to mix experience levels and then you want to mix your your weight, but only on a smaller range, right? So what would that range be exactly in, in your opinion? Like uh, when you're talking about that weight difference, right? Because the the like, of course you want ideally somebody your size, like your height more or less, but I mean, that could vary. You know, your opponents will come in all um, all sizes, so to speak. Well, I, either they're like you, they're taller or they're shorter, you know? Uh, but well, what would be like, 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 like in class, right? What would be the weight difference? Let's say I'm 145 now. So should I be trying to avoid guys, obviously 200 pounds is like too much for me because, you know, their jab is equal to my straight, so to speak. Mm, but you think like what, a 10 pound difference, 20 pound, 30 pound, like what would be the ideal scenario, you know, up and well, down? Well, I can just tell you about for my own personal preference, right? Mm -hmm. Like I usually like 155 or less is, is who I feel comfortable sparring with, but that can change depending on their height, right? So if, if, uh, if the guy's like 165 and he's my height, I'll be like, okay, like I'll spar you because I, I have the range to make up. I have the, the range skill to make up for his weight, you know, for class sparring. Like I can, I can keep pretty safe, but if he weighs like 165 and he's sitting at like 5'11", six foot, I'm like, no, nope, no, <laughs> I'm not sparring you. It's not going to be any good for me. If I'm going to spar a dude your height, he might as well be a big, massive dude so I can at least get some pressure training in. Otherwise, it's not going to benefit me. Not going to benefit you either. So it's kind of like an eyeball thing um, for me personally. But like a guy's 5'8", five, 5'9", five, if they're like, you know, 150, 140, I'll, I'll spar them. It's not going to be – I'll have to go higher tempo to keep up with them um, just to keep my – quantity of shots higher to keep them from pressuring me since I'm so, so much smaller. Cause I'm small, dude, not like short. I'm, I'm like the, a basketball player build, but if you scale the slider down, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. 